What's up guys? So basically I'm bringing you a tutorial today on Fallout 4 on why you get the black screen of death. Now I searched hours and hours for a solution and I literally could not find one but today I did find one. So what I'm doing is I'm compiling a raw pack to actually release to the community for you to all fix this black screen of death error that you're getting and hopefully just be able to play the game. It was really frustrating for me but uh, I found this up by trial and error, it's pretty, it's pretty simple, so yeah, let's just get started with it. So basically what would happen is, you would finish downloading your Fallout 4 game, you would install any new language mods that you'd need to because you wouldn't understand Russian or Chinese, whatever your game actually came installed into, because some, some cracks would be Russian, some would be Chinese, so obviously you wouldn't be able to understand it, so the first thing you'd do is you would install your English or your your specific language your specific language packs and little did we actually realize these language packs was what was actually corrupting that the actual game so what I mean by this is when you open your game for the first time you are going to need to actually create a character so what I mean by this is when you open your game you need to press new game even if you can't remember even if you can't figure out the language or whatever you just you just have to do it and uh, even if you can't figure out the language or anything it's compulsory you have to create a new file well not not a new file sorry a new save game and basically don't worry about the appearance don't worry about your name or anything because that can be changed when you well I'm not going to spoil the game for you but that can be changed later on when something happens within the game so diving in so basically what you want to going to do first obviously to get your game started is you need to copy your crack files into your game folder I've already done this although uh, I'll be releasing this pack in the description so you wouldn't you won't have to follow you won't, you won't have to mess around with downloading torrents for the crack you can just simply download my raw file and after the crack is inserted you should now be able to inst um you should now be able to open your fallout 4 successfully and that's a good thing so uh the next thing you're going to want to do is obviously open up your game and it will be in a russian or chinese language simply just press enter once enter again and then just look um skip through the cutscene create your character as default and as soon as you see a message with three dots loading in the top left of your screen that means that an autosave is being created and you can now come out of your game and you can now go into your data folder go into strings and then this is where all your languages lie so basically I've included both English and Russian string files just in case you actually do want the Russian language if you speak Russian, totally up to you. And I'm going to show you what to do. So basically you would copy these English string files into your Fallout folder. You would then go back and go back again and then you would go into your main directory looking at... Uh, you. You go into your main directory looking for a folder named fallout underscore default so that would be just looking for the file now there we go fallout 4 underscore default just right click that and then select edit and then you'll now be presented with this notepad file so uh what you have is, is here is a general S language. This will defaultly be set to, I think it's CH or CU for Chinese and RU for Russian. So what you're going to want to do is just simply delete that, change it to slash EN and then just literally save that. And then what you're going to want to do is go into your documents, go into my games, go into Fallout and then you're going to want to do the same with Fallout 4.ne. Just right click slash edit this will be set to ru or ch or wherever you're cracked in and then simply change it to en once again and that's basically it for the language side so if you followed the steps correctly of creating a file a save game before you entered your new language 
you should just be able to start up the game normally now. So uh, do not start up the game with Fallout 4. Uh, this is going to the second method now if you're still getting the black screen of death even after following my steps. So do not inst um, do not start the game from Fallout 4. Right click, properties, go to compatibility, run this program in compatibility for Windows 8, apply. Do the same for the launcher as well and then apply again and then do not launch it from the actual fallout 4 application launch it from the F fallout 4 launcher application uh, go into your options make sure windowed mode and borderless is selected do whatever you wanna do whatever what whatever your pc specifications can handle personally i can handle everything with ultra so i'm just gonna go ahead with ultra and your correct resolution as you can see the maximum is 1920 by 1080 that's because I'm using the 1920 by 1080 resolution so if you can handle more than that or you can handle that exactly go for the highest one if you only have an 800 by 40, 450 resolution then use that don't use anything higher don't use anything lower you know so um press ok after that and then just simply press play and then you should get this prompt about running So as you can see now we're actually in the Fallout game and we have the um, English language now working as that would be in Russia before press any button to start and now it's pretty much in, it's pretty much in uh, all in English although when you go to load your save game should still be in Russian I think this did happen for me well that doesn't matter so um, for you, you should get continue and it should go to the um, quick save file that you created just before you had imported your new English languages. So that's pretty much it. You should load it up now and it should just load fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my earliest save to prove that to you. So yeah, you should now get this loading screen instead of that annoying black, black box with that uh, loading icon in the bottom right and it should literally just load right up so it's as simple as that so uh, i'll be posting a written link in the description i'll be submitting the raw file in the description as well so if you've got any questions just ask them in pm or comments below and i'll answer them as fast as possible thanks for watching